Good afternoon. Welcome to Jim Munley's World on to Long Range Weather Forecast Discussion for March 30th through April 13th. From March 30th to April 3rd, we have a ridge that is forecast. Go back here a little bit. That's forecast across the northeast and east of Pacific. And we have this ridge across the Gulf of Mexico and the Caribbean. And we have below normal heights across much of Canada that extends into the northern U.S. During this forecast period, we will have a strong trough that would be pushing a cold front eastward. You can see here's the main low over um, southern Canada. It's fairly strong. And then that will lift northeaster through Tuesday through Thursday. And there will be a chance of snow across the interior, Middle Atlantic, and northeast. And behind this system... We will have cold high pressure system that will be sinking into the, uh, to the middle of the country, causing drier conditions across much of the nation. And you can see the 540 line here extends down through the Tennessee Valley. Ma's a good agreement on this. And then we have this trailing front would be more rain across the southeast. You can see there's pockets of uh, rain here, heavier rainfall as a new low forms. We'll go back here a little bit. A new low forms in the Tennessee or Ohio Valley, and this will interact with moisture from the Gulf, uh, feeding heavy rainfall across this region. We're we'll looking now at the period for um, April 4th to the 8th. And during this period, we have strong positive height anomalies that form near Greenland or over Greenland and we have a ridge here over or near the Aleutians some of the models are forecasting zonal flow near to above normal heights but as you can see we have this trough that that moves in uh, or develops from Alaska along the the west coast and we have a little bit of a weak trough or upper low here over over New England with the ridge in between models are pretty good agreement on this excuse me so for this forecast period <clears throat> forecasting above normal temperatures from the Pacific coast into the plains and I'm forecasting anomalies of 48 degrees above normal below normal temperatures forecast for this region with the anomalies of two to four degrees below normal and for precipitation calling for below normal precipitation for much of the country and I'm forecasting the probability of, of occurrence is 35 to 45%. Now, um, yesterday we talked about the MJO and what it may do. And we're going to take a look at that right now. Um, here is the uh, one forecast. This is from the uh, CPC Center. And it will be going into Phase 4. And then we'll look at the European also brings into wave four, into phase four. So what this means is that we will have this um, we will have mild air flooding much of the country during this period as this trough becomes more progressive, and this will move further inland with above normal heights here near the Aleutians and also across Greenland. And we will have above normal heights across the eastern states. See right here. Okay, so for this forecast period, I'm forecasting below normal temperatures for the west coast. And I'm forecasting anomalies of 2 degrees below normal. It could be a little higher. And we have above normal, pre uh, above normal temperatures here. And I'm forecasting anomalies of 4 to 8 degrees above normal. And for precipitation, call for below normal precipitation for the four corners and for this region here. And the probability of currents is 35 to 45%. That's the long range weather forecast discussion for March 30th through April 13th. Thanks for coming to Jim World of Weather and have a good day.